Hi guys, good to see you again in November. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winery Bellevue Commons. This episode is going to be my November market update for all Seattle and all East Side locations. But before we jump into this market update, I want to say a big thank you this time to Federal Reserve for printing financial stability report. Report is very interesting and talking about a lot of different data in different markets and different industries. I will cover just real estate side of this report. A lot of interesting stuff, it's happened there. You guys remember a year ago, Fed told us there will be no inflation, no worries, no worries, but they continue print money, print money, print money, print money. And here you go, we got a report, we got inflation 6.2% right now. Feds have a lot of heat from uh, different institutions like Bank of America says the Fed is playing with fire by downplaying inflation and needs a new playbook. The United States try to always keep inflation steady uh, between like one to maximum three percent but like 6.2 percent is like outside of norm. And that's why you guys can see those prices in the grocery stores. That's why you guys can see those prices uh, in the gas stations. And that's why we have seen so many unhappy people. They have to pay 30, 40, 50, 100% more for same food they was able to buy for cents given day year ago. And feds, feds have to definitely have a new playbook to resolve this issue. Let's go back to real estate side and I'll show you guys uh, this assets valuations report on the real estate side and I will read for you. Supported by low mortgage rates and strong demand, houses prices continue to rise, outstripping increases in rents. What are they talking about? What the Fed's talking about between those lines? They're talking about prices and increases for houses but rental market cannot catch up with the prices increases for those houses. What that means is if somebody buy a house and have mortgage, the mortgage much higher than rent, you can rent house, same house in this location. So that means uh, this rent prices has to be catch up and that means hedge funds companies, those private investors who have rental properties, they're going to be adjust leases as soon as those leases expired they're going to be increased all those leases. So this is like very, very important data you guys can read with me from this report. However, uh, with valuations of the high levels, houses prices could be potentially sensitive to shocks. What kind of shocks Fed's talking about? One of the shocks Fed's talking about increasing interest rate. Of course, if they're going to increase interest rate and they're planning to increase interest rate because we have inflation, going to increase this interest rate to offset losses and that's going to be happen in 2022. Router reports about articles on November 8th. Fed officials turns focus on the rate debate, eye on jobs and inflation. For them, stopping inflation is really really big deal basically because in 1976 uh, was removed gold standards from us dollars and just to print any dollars it's pretty, pretty much paper money costs about 11 cents just to print a dollar if fest doesn't print the money the money have more value in it but as soon as they start printing those trillions of the dollars the values decrease because it doesn't support with anything Seattle pi wrote another article number five Puget Sound housing inventory could be remain limited until spring 2022. That's true. We have very limited supply right now and very huge demand. And what's happening in 2021, houses become it's kind of collectible items. You guys remember this 1947 was created first Ferrari and that Ferrari is still in the museum right now, just increasing value. So value did not decrease for that car. And that car become kind of collectible items. We have a lot of people have a lot of collectible items. Now we're talking about NFC collectible items, but think about houses. If you have huge demand to buy them and we have no supply pretty much right now, the houses become collectible items. It's very difficult to buy a house. Uh, you have to fight for it. You have to really submit very strong offer with like no contingency. Sometimes pay 30% over asking price just to get that collectible item. 
And like, if you tell your friends, oh, I, you know, I just got a house. It's a oh, you're lucky. I wish I can get one too. Like I have money, I have employment, I have job, but I cannot afford to buy it anymore because like, I cannot overbeat you. You just, you pay more. You pay more for this collectible items you have right now, but I cannot do that. And those collectible items, houses, becomes a huge treasure in 2021 US market. And let's jump in now to the juice of this market update, to the numbers. I will cover all east side locations and all Seattle locations as well. And for Seattle, I will cover West Seattle, Central Seattle, Queen Anne, Downtown Seattle, North Seattle, so all those areas where Seattle is located. And for east side, I will cover all cities, and those cities are Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Issaquah, Sammamish, Woodenville, and Mercer Island. People who live on east side, they, they have same desire to live closer to Bellevue on east side, regardless you live in, in Issaquah, or you live in Sammamish, or you live in Kirkland, or you live in Redmond, all those areas, it's very desirable to live and have very similar prices right now and with the core location in downtown Bellevue. And let's see together first what's happening in Seattle and then we're gonna go to east side. In Seattle, we have 0.6 months of inventory with medium sell price $850,000 and 6% increase year over year. 48% of all homes in Seattle selling above asking price and 19% of all homes in Seattle selling at asking price. Lots of selling in Seattle, all areas, it's really high right now. It's about 89% and uh, only 8% of homes did not close after signing mutual agreement. You guys can see on the screen with me right now, 73% in Seattle selling less than 15 days on the market, and 15% of all homes in Seattle selling between 15 to 30 days on the market. Number of listings sold above list price, about 48% right now, and very similar number to 2017 when we had 49%. It's a higher number than we had in 2020, and higher numbers than we have in 2019. On this screen, you guys can see if we compare October 2021 to October 2020, month supply of inventory is dramatically changed, drop to 46% from 1.2 months in October and to 0.6 months. And active listings drops as well from 1,100 listings in 2020 to 561 listings for about 49% in all Seattle areas. As we move into the winter months, we're gonna have less inventory because less people desire to sell property when we have Christmas holidays and snow outside. Most people are going to wait until springtime and most people are going to be start thinking about selling in January and list property mid-January, beginning of February, and we're going to have a lot of listings in March, April, and May, and we're going to be repeat the cycle. And now, guys, let's move to your side and see what's happening in those cities and in this location. You guys can see with me on the screen right now, we have 0.3 months of inventory. If in next eight days, we're not gonna have any new listings coming on the market. We basically have no homes for sale. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning of this episode. Houses become collectible items. It's very hard to buy. You have to pay extra. And I heard right now from the agents on East Side who work in my office in Bellevue. They're talking about some people actually willing to pay 30% over asking price. They're starting again. And we have this line going up again right now with sell prices in Bellevue. And this is, that's what we see. So the medium sell price on the east side right now, $1,365,000 and increase 30% year over year. Guys, 67% of all homes on the east side selling above asking price with 10% at asking price. This is shocking for me. 84% of all, all homes and sales east side selling less than 15 days on the market and 8% homes selling between 15 to 30 days on the market. And uh, you guys can see comparison to October 2020, October 2021. So we drop inventory from 0.6 months. It's low inventory in 2020 to 0.3 months. It's most, almost like no inventory in 2021. So nobody pretty much wants to sell house in Seattle's east side 
because a lot of people come into your site right now, not just from Seattle, they come from different parts of the country, the desire to live in this area because they have a lot of opportunities for employment for all those big tech IT companies. Pretty much your site is a new Silicon Valley in Washington state. Number of listings, you guys see in October was 473 listings. Now we have 185 homes on all those cities like Woodenville, Mercer Island, Issaquah, Bellevue, Sammamish, like seriously, it's like no homes for sale. And oh my gosh, like I, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're probably going to need mortgage rate increase just to provide more inventory for those buyers desperately looking to buy homes right now in Seattle's east side. As example, I want to show you guys this graph, like just comparison, just for Bellevue only. We'll exclude uh, all other cities from this site and just Bellevue only. And I included in this West Bellevue and East Bellevue. They different animals too as well. But if you include it together, you guys can see uh, price changes in last seven years. Seven years ago, we have about 700,000 price mark in 2014. In 2021, we have about $1.6 million uh, in Bellevue. So it's pretty much like prices double with the seven years in Bellevue. They not increase for 10 or 15%. They increase for 100%. That's like shocking news. You guys who bought houses seven years ago with me in Bellevue, I'm sure you're pretty happy right now to hear those news. The number of listings sold about list price. You guys can see with me for 2021, we have 67%. That number is decreasing right now, comparable to September from last month, but still beats uh, previous years, 2020, 2019, and 2018 and 17. So it's much higher than last five years. Seattle market and east side market continue to be different. And on this slide, you guys can see comparison east side to Snohomish County, King County in Seattle. And you guys can see medium sell price, the highest medium sell price right now on the east side, $1,365,000 comparable to Snohomish County, almost $700,000, King County, $824,000, and Seattle, $850,000. So the most changes we have year after year, it was inside. Prices increased for about 30%, comparable to Snohomish County 20%, King County 11%, and lastly, Seattle 6%. And home prices sold about list price. The most homes sold about list price was in East Side. Second place is King County 56%. Uh, third place is Snohomish County, and lastly is Seattle. And months inventory available for sale, homes available, people can buy. The less inventory right now on the east side 0.3 months, Snohomish County 0.4 months, King County 0.5 months, and lastly following everyone is Seattle, 0.6 months of inventory. And let's see what's happening in a market city by city. This is guys your favorite slide also, but I'm not gonna go through the, all those city because a lot of those cities listed here, a lot of different numbers. And you guys can see average market time, number of houses sold in each specific cities. You guys can actually pause this video and look for your city where you live. And you can see comparisons like to different cities, but pretty much everywhere prices increase. I increase like 30%, 39%. I see here different numbers. Somewhere more, somewhere less, but pretty much everywhere in Washington state, prices increase through all cities. And with that, guys, thank you so much for being with me today. I know it was a lot of information, but I hope you like it and you can smash that like button below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for future episodes. Uh, stay tuned with me. And if you guys have any friends or family or co-workers needs help looking for real estate broker or for advice, please reach out to me. I'm always available. I'm serving King County in Snohomish County. My office is located in Bellevue, Washington, and I will be glad to be your real estate resource. And with that, guys, stay safe there until next month.